Okay, so in this video, I'll talk about, uh, you know, uh, differences and similarities between data science, data analytics, and machine learning. Okay, so uh, by the way, you know, all three of these data science, analytics, and machine learning are growing at an astronomical rate. They're just growing like anything, right? And companies are now looking for professionals who can sift through the gold mine of data that they have and help them drive, uh, uh, you know, swift business decisions efficiently. Okay? So basically, all three are important for sure. Okay. Now, um, we can understand the differences between the three based on what skills are required if you want to be in one of these three fields, data science, data analysis, or machine learning, okay? So if you want to, uh, you know, become a data scientist, the skills that are required, you know, you need to know machine learning. Knowledge of machine learning is required. Uh, strong knowledge of Python or SAS or R and Scala, these kinds of tools is required. Hands-on experience uh, in SQL database coding. So, you know, you do need basic data processing skills. Ability to work with unstructured data from various sources like video and social media data also. And lastly, understand multiple analytical functions. So various kinds of, uh, uh, you know, uh, areas where, where uh, such kind of um, uh, data science oriented analysis can be useful. Okay, so all of those things. Now, as against that, so this is basically, you know, some sort of machine learning is required uh, and, and so on. As against that, a data analyst needs mathematical skills, knowledge of mathematical statistics, fluent understanding of R and Python. So this is common in some senses. There is R and Python required here as well. Data wrangling and uh, understanding pig or hive. Okay. So, so if you think of it, data analyst is more about, uh, you know, doing uh, uh, data collection, processing data, more closer to statistics, uh, and uh, making sure that large amounts of data can be handled nicely, pre-processing data in some senses. Data scientist also knows, uh, you know, uh, or data scientist is not at that, at, at that part of, uh, or at that, uh, uh, in that, uh, is not so very much useful in that phase of the data cycle, right? So data analyst in some senses brings in data and um, uh, nicely organizes it, pre-processes it, so that it is ready for a data scientist to start making sense out of it, okay? So essentially, um, now uh, once the data analyst has made the data available, the data scientist could go ahead and do some machine learning on it and see which use cases it could cater to, okay? But, now, but then if you basically say you want to become a core machine learning expert, okay? Now, for that, you need expertise in computer science fundamentals. So basically, that's that. In-depth knowledge of programming skills, you need very good knowledge of programming skills. Um, you know, not just knowledge, not, not just Python and R, you would rather also know some other uh, programming languages, right? Knowledge of probability and stats and data modeling and evaluation skills. So uh, in the spectrum, you would think that, hey, uh, if you are a machine learning expert, then you could potentially be very close to data scientist. Okay. Now, machine learning expert may not really know how to nicely massage data in big data platforms and uh, you know do pick queries or hive queries on it and so on. But machine learning uh, uh, experts are more closer to basic computer science fundamentals in that senses. Okay. So that's the way to think of it. You know, I've sort of tried to summarize these things uh, here in this picture. So machine learning is the practice of using algorithms to learn from data, right? And uh, you know, forecast and use them for forecasting predictions and so on. Data science is a very broad thing. It's a concept used to tackle big data that includes data cleaning, preparation, analysis. And an analyst is usually a person uh, who can do basic descriptive statistics, visualize data, or even communicate using data, pre-process data, and so on, okay? So machine learning experts actually need much more stronger set of skills versus data science or a data analyst, okay? Data analyst uh, is, is a person usually who requires much lesser, cognitively much lesser difficult uh, to obtain skills, okay? So, um, and as we discussed, machine learning expert requires computer science fundamentals in that sense is uh, basic modeling, data modeling, evaluation skills, knowledge of probability stats, in-depth knowledge of programming, and uh, in-depth no in depth knowledge in that sense, right? Data scientist essentially does need machine learning also, just like this guy needs somewhat, uh, uh, this guy needs a lot, right? But data scientists need somewhat understanding of machine learning, okay? Um, and data massaging skills, a whole bunch of data massaging skills. Data analyst basically needs uh, skills to obtain the data nicely, um, and and um, uh, you know store the data uh, nicely. So process um, uh, query the data interestingly. Uh, do basic descriptive stats, right? Many of the guys who know Excel call themselves as data data analysts. I mean Excel and Power BI and so on. 
okay but uh, most of the data analysts would also know either r or python so that they can actually take the data and uh, can process it in a way such that they can explain at least what kinds of attributes it has how many uh, you know missing values or and things of that kind that's basically data analyst job and data scientist can make reasonable sense out of the data use available tools and machine learning libraries to code up um, to code up uh, you know various solutions while a machine learning expert can actually invent new solutions also so understand why a particular data may not give you very good accuracy because of uh, 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 give, give you very uh, good accuracy because certain assumptions that the algorithm needs are not being met and so on okay so that's that um, and uh, data science is sort of multidisciplinary. If you think of it, it involves a whole bunch of machine learning, statistics, databases, pattern recognition, and so on. So in some senses, data science is a hodgepodge of multiple things. And therefore, uh, data science is sort of a very broad term which is used. Anybody who is sort of doing anything with data uh, these days sort of calls uh, himself or herself as a data scientist in that sense. Right? But uh, machine learning experts are one level higher up in that sense is that they do understand the core fundamentals of how things work. Um, and, and which particular machine learning tools should be used for what kinds of data and so on. Okay. So this is another diagram which sort of shows you the relationship between these things from a functional perspective. So data science is about analytics, business intelligence, statistics and data visualization. Um, now uh, uh, then there is also this uh, uh, machine learning and data mining kind of things uh, uh, and uh, uh, these things uh, uh, so, sort of uh, uh, so data mining is one of the applications or rather uh, data mining kind of applications sort of imply machine learning so you could say that a uh, machine learning tools can be used for data mining in some senses okay um, now, uh, while deep learning and deep neural networks are majorly a component of machine learning, but they are also used for doing a whole bunch of data mining. Okay, so don't get confused when I say, "Hey, deep learning is is data mining only." No, I mean, deep learning is also useful for deep uh, for data mining, but majorly deep learning should be considered as a subset of machine learning in that sense. Right? But deep learning is that part of machine learning which deals with big data, large amounts of data. Okay. So that's that, and uh, all of these together is in general pushing the frontier of artificial intelligence, the big goal further, right? So essentially it's helping achieve artificial intelligence, uh, uh, the goals of artificial intelligence, that is building machines that can actually act like humans, right? And do, uh, do things that humans can do, okay? So uh, this animation sort of shows you uh, how the, uh, you know, uh, so on the next slide, this one shows you how the different fields uh, have progressed over time, okay? So, uh, and uh, how would I sort of uh, 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 call, uh, you know, what would I call data analytics, business analytics, you know, there are many of these terms which are sort of confusing, okay? Um, and uh, which of these act on the current data, past data, or are useful for future predictions, okay? So, for example, what you see is that, uh, uh, you know, we will sort of start off with, uh, uh, now we will uh, sort of start off with um, uh, with uh, multiple use cases here okay so let me sort of uh, uh, relook at this so there are multiple business use cases business case studies qualitative analysis preliminary reports and so on okay if you talk from a data perspective which needs reasonable large amounts of data they are these business case studies etc don't need large amounts of data okay now if you also bring in you know past present future usually business case studies are done for past data qualitative analysis business analytics is usually done for futuristic data Okay, so uh, then you know if you bring in science aspects and so on or data analytics aspects, you can say, hey, forecasting is really science in that senses. Okay, so uh, if you're doing sales forecasting versus if you're doing qualitative analysis, it's not really science, data science in some senses. Okay, so so that's that, um, and of course all of these deal with data and therefore large amounts of data, therefore they're put here. Um, business case studies are about past data. Sales forecasting is about the future, therefore put right there. Okay? And data science is really about predictive, so it's forecasting, optimization of drilling operations, and so on. Business intelligence is about, you know, a part of data science in some senses where you deal with both the present data and the past data and uh, create real time dashboards and so on. Um, now, some part of data science can actually be done using machine learning. Data science is science about data, so it can be any science about data as such. But some part of it can be done about with machine learning, and as you notice, you know machine learning sort of appears on the right hand side, basically saying that machine learning is typically about the future. So you want to sort of uh, 
uh, use machine learning uh, in scenarios where you're doing stuff with the future, uh, uh, you know, where you want to predict for the future, forecast for the future in some senses, right? And uh, AI is a larger goal. Uh, machine learning is a part of it. Uh, speech recognition, image recognition, um, uh, client retention, fraud prevention are all basically machine learning use cases in some senses. Now, the idea is many people basically in the business world, rather than calling it AI, they just call it advanced analytics. So essentially, uh, you know, uh, while uh, uh, there are all business use cases, you could look at them with, with the perspective of whether they deal with large amounts of data or small amounts of data. So these purple ones are the ones that deal with large amounts of data in some senses, right? Or you could look at the perspective of past, present, future, what kind of data sets that they use. Or you could look at the predictive use cases versus descriptive use cases in some senses. And uh, uh, then you can say that, well, uh, you know, there are many kinds of AI techniques. Overall, people call the entire thing as advanced analytics. Okay. So if you hear these terms, don't get confused. Or rather, the idea is that more or less in today's world, uh, people just use them inter-exchangeably. You know, people would just say, oh, I'm doing business analytics and, um, uh, or, or um, you know, I'm doing data science, I'm doing AI ML. Now, more or less in today's world, everything means the same thing. Okay. It really depends. Uh, uh, so, so, the, um, uh, so the terms were invented with uh, particular intentions, but, uh, uh, and, and there is a difference in uh, what are the goals of each of these fields, but uh, if you think of it, more or less people just use them interchangeably as if everybody is doing advanced analytics or everybody is basically uh, doing data science, ML, and so on. Okay, but hopefully this sort of uh, uh, this animation give a good picture of uh, what are the differences between uh, data science, data analytics, uh, AI, and ML.